September 6, 2017, looking at our star in X-ray mode. Only the high-energy X-rays and extreme ultraviolet light shines, but that's all we need to know the sun has done something titanic. Sunspot number 2673, 131 angstroms of light revealing ionized iron and bright magnetic fields above the sunspot. After months of silence, our star awakens with two X-class solar flares, the second ranking X9.3, the 14th largest solar flare ever recorded, and the largest by far in the last 12 years. It has released a large coronal mass ejection into space as seen here on coronagraphs. Looking from Earth, the spread tells us that the eruption is coming our way. We call that a halo eruption. The burst appears large and quite dense, and when we look from stereo A, putting us just behind the left side of the sun from Earth's perspective, so Earth is off to the right here, you can get a side view of what is coming our way and what is difficult to see in the 2D from those previous images. Everyday viewers know the sun broke its long silence two days ago with a smaller eruption while the sunspot was directly facing Earth. We are awaiting its impact tonight. Earlier this morning, the smaller X-class eruption pushed a CME that NASA says will clip our planet in about 24 hours, and although neither NASA nor NOAA has updated CME predictions as of 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, I can guarantee this one will strike Earth too. So we've got three CMEs, a coronal hole stream in there as well, and unfortunately we have a consecutive impact scenario setting up with us having to be within about 48 hours of the last burst's arrival. It would be surprising to not see any solar storm electrical disruptions, and major grid effects are not out of the question. We also have an ongoing proton radiation storm that has even pushed the 100 million volt protons into an elevated state. Combined with geomagnetic effects from these solar eruption shockwaves, we should be seeing more of the space weather health alerts coming along with the electrical trouble. Make sure your alerts are turned on in the Disaster Prediction app. We're firing off the health warnings that go along with these solar events, fastest reporting of those solar flares and solar storms at Earth, and the only space weather health alerts in the world. Folks, I am obliged to mention that this consecutive impact scenario has my major grid effect probability around 25 or 30 percent, with global loss probability around 10 percent. That last one means what you think it means. I went to the store today and calmly bolstered my preps. How often do you hear me say that? Now, that's 90% sure we are not all going down this week, but that's not enough to keep me quiet. Also, be sure to watch the data at spaceweathernews.com. I'll see you all in the morning. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.